Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is our Friday energy check in for all signs. I will start with Capricorn and end up with Cancer with the last card, the Orchid, as a freestyle reading. I will start with Earth, then Fire, Air, and Water. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you and energy could be vice versa. I'm going to tell you a short story and you decide who is who in this story. I will shuffle the cards first, then I will start. Somebody is hoping for something, having a wish in their heart. I believe this card is telling you, I know being patient is hard. I don't feel you need to be patient for long. I feel your wish will come true soon. This is for somebody who was really patient for a very long time. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive uh, your parents. Let go of control issue, issues, allow this situation to unfold naturally. I believe we had this card last week as well. There is really need to release the past, my dear. To release the pain. We need to stop blaming anyone, even ourselves. Just accept life as it is. Let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Don't blame anyone. Don't blame yourself even. We all do mistakes, but life will keep going. Maybe this is the time for reward. Good luck for you all and for me as well. Because I need this star. This wish. Let's start with Capricorn. Judgment. The Magician. The Page of Cups. Honeymoon, enjoy the bless of a holiday time together. I don't know if this is you or the energy that you are dealing with, but Capricorn, somebody pick your side because this is the energy of one person in this relationship or situation. Somebody is learning from the past, taking the decision, that's waiting is a waste of time. Somebody is manifesting love. And I believe this will take you to a very beautiful place. You and this person you have in mind. As I told you, I don't know if this is your energy or their energy, but the results are beautiful. Get ready. Good luck, Capricorn. Good luck, my dear. Virgo. This is the tarot. Let's take this. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This is a situation between you and someone, <coughs> excuse me, a soulmate of yours. Maybe for some of you, this individual didn't enter your life yet, 
and maybe this is an ex. Each one of you is busy doing what they are doing in life, trying to come, like, to get over this situation. Somebody is trying to leave from a very long time. But they are walking and walking and walking and they're still next to the cup. They didn't go far. The other energy is trying with this page of swords to cross from a side to another, walking on a stick. Hard. But till now, even though, you know how I felt from this picture? Because this is a stick, or maybe a sword, I believe. You are walking, or this individual, whatever you or them, pick your side, is walking slowly, while in this situation, logically, you have to move fast because it's dangerous. They're walking slowly, not wanting really to go to the other side of the bridge. Two people, they are not ready to let go. So this card is advising you to stay optimistic about your love life. With this six of cups in between, I believe this situation didn't end. Maybe there is a separation now. Maybe the timing is not right. But I feel that this situation didn't end, my dear. You will meet together one more time. Because of that, I believe it's not easy for you to forget and it's not easy for them as well because the story didn't end. Good luck. Good luck, Virgo. Good luck, my dear. Taurus. I saw the face of death, but it was not strong enough to come out. Let's see. The lovers, temperance with six of pentacles and uh, the sun. Something is shifting in your energy, Taurus. There is two cards of balance between you and this energy. Temperance and the Six of Pentacles very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. There is a past life energy, a strong past life energy in this situation. Somebody is taking the decision that they don't want to let go and you want to bring this lover's energy to the 3D. Maybe the other person doesn't know that yet, but they are feeling the positive energy. I don't know which one is you. Somebody is taking a decision to come forward and the other energy, because it, it's a strong past life, situation they are picking on that energy there is a balance coming in this situation in the 5d with this temperance and in the 3d with the six of pentacles there is something beautiful coming back to life very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now there is a miracle waiting for you to name it, my dear. So name it. Good luck, Taurus. This is a very beautiful energy. Super beautiful. Wish you all the best, my dear. Sagittarius. Eight of Cups, 
the King of Pentacles, Temperance. Get to know each others. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I feel you here. This is your card. So I will assume this is you. You are calling an energy in your life not to leave. There is a grounded beginning or start between you and this energy but it's so slow till the point that the energy that connected to you felt that waiting for this start is a waste of time so they gave their back to this cup of love and they are trying to move away from it The card is telling you get to know each other's by starting. <clears throat> if you will not start, I don't know, maybe flip the energy. If there is no start, there is no knowing. Because knowing people has to be by interacting with them. Watching them and thinking or analyzing their ways will not give you the right answer my dear maybe it will give you an idea but if you want the whole truth you have to talk to them face to face this reading is advising you if you are the temperance here to stop watching and start acting because it seems you stayed here for a very long time till the point that you gave the impression to the other energy that waiting is a waste of time. So if you really want them, start to know them by revealing your innermost self to them. Let this King of Pentacles leave the chair and move. You are looking at this pentacle from a while now. It's time to extend it. Good luck, Sagittarius. Good luck, my dear. Leo. Nine of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the World. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You are here. I'm not feeling the energy of anyone here. There is somebody pushing you to act, but they are not in this reading. The energy of them is around, but these three cards is about you, Leo. You stayed for a very long time behind this fence, my dear. Wanting to move to the other side, but you were afraid. I believe the time is now you are ready to take this Queen of Wands energy and close this cycle from the past. You were on the edge, on the fence between the past and the future, and you didn't have that strength while you are strength to make this shift. You are about to close the cycle, about to, but you stayed giving, <coughs> excuse me, leaving that door a little bit open for a very long time. I believe the time right now is right and you are ready 
to close that cycle. There is an energy of somebody pushing you to do that. Maybe there is a new energy entering your life, somebody you are attracted to, or you are in starting a situation or a relationship with. This energy that I'm feeling it around is pushing you to do what you didn't do from a very long time. <clears throat> You stayed on the edge for so long. And now is the time. Maybe this energy came to your life to give you that final push to end the past so you can start new. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You lost hope. And love from long from a long time you i believe the fire is starting back in your heart and this is a beautiful energy there is a very positive energy from the readings for today maybe not all of them are positive but the energy in general it's there is hope in everything based on it seems that start that we started the reading with that card that jumped to us is giving all of us the hope that there is a positive energy around. Catch it. Don't miss it. Good luck, Leo. Aries. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Let's see. The Four of Swords, two cards here. The Moon with the Six of Swords, the Sun. There is a move. In your life, you are meditating about it from a very long time. This moon energy is the secret that you are holding in your heart that you want to bring your energy out of this situation. Maybe literally in life, leaving something, someone, a work, a partner, whatever the situation is, or something energetically about leaving the energy of the past, the baggage from the past. With this sun here, I believe you are bringing this dream, that secret that you are holding in your life, in your heart, to reality. You stayed here not feeling happy for a very long time, knowing that there is a need for you to move. But you didn't. You kept that wish as a secret in your heart, hoping that one day you will be strong enough or circumstances around you will be right enough to push you out of this. I believe you are feeling that it's time to leave the past in the past, even if you are not 100% ready. And this is the very right decision, my dear. Because no one is 100% ready to do anything. Because of that, always, every big change in our life need a push out of our comfort zone. Because we will be confident enough when we know that we are 100% ready and no one is. There is always something missing. You need to push yourself to come out of this energy. Nobody is 100% ready ever. You, be, you will become ready by pushing yourself out. If you will stay in here, in this nest of yours that you are sleeping from a very long time. This girl is sitting in this nest, 
feeling safe alone because she is not happy with the environment around her. If she is happy, she will get up and come out. This is her comfort zone. This is her bubble. She's staying here even though she's feeling that the place is so tight for her. But she's feeling safe inside her comfort zone. Maybe it's time to find a bigger nest, to find home. And if you will not move out of this, to find your replacement or the place that you have to go to, you will stay here forever. The push, I believe you are pushing yourself out and you will succeed because this is the sun calling you out of there, telling you there is a beautiful life waiting for you. Give yourself this small push out. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take and you are guided to go out of here because the sun is shining, waiting for you to come around. Good luck, Aries. Good luck, my dear. As I told you, there is a beautiful energy today. I'm so happy that we have this positive energy around. Aquarius. Eight of Pentacles, Temperance, Death. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Make a wish, Aquarius. Somebody, I don't know which one is you, but somebody is waiting for the other energy from a very long time to change. Because without that just death and rebirth, there is no balance in this situation. And this energy was loving enough, having a deep feeling towards this card, this death here, to wait patiently for them and they will keep doing like asking wishing for this change this eight of pentacles believes that this is a strong energy like past life connection there is a soul connection here this energy healed and transformed from a while, but they were waiting for the other energy to get ready. So this love will come balanced and the relationship, the union will start in this lifetime. If you are this eight of pentacles, the card is telling you clearly decide what you want. I believe the divine timing is very close. The other energy is transforming and this temperance is the energy between you and them. Something beautiful is coming. You waited for them to follow you in your healing path and they are. They are about to be ready and you, you waited for a very long time and what you wished for is coming true, my dear. Good luck, Aquarius. Good luck, honey. The energy of love is surrounding us in this reading, which is awesome. Libra. The Ace of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the 
King of Swords. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of a holiday time together. This King of Swords is in love. This Queen of Cups is the energy between these two people. Somebody is brave enough to show love. The other energy is not. This King of Swords is too afraid to open up and let that love shine out while the other energy here is healed and ready for love. This honeymoon here is telling me that king of, this King of Swords will not stay cold for long. The Queen of Cups is winning this situation. Maybe this energy will not show love the way that this Ace of Cups is showing. But you will feel the love even if they didn't say it. This individual is trying already right now to release little bit of what they feel. Because in the past, they were really afraid. They cannot do like this Ace of Cups. Definitely. But they will try to release some of these feelings. So it will show. And I believe this is the honeymoon that will make these two people enjoy the time together because this cold energy is trying to show a little bit of the, of the love that they are hiding behind this cold face. Good luck, Libra. Good luck, my dear. The energy today is beautiful. That star in the beginning was the key for all this happiness that I'm feeling through this reading. Gemini. The Ace of Wands. The Six of Swords. The Hanged Man. You deserve love. You are lovable. There is somebody around you full of passion and love, my dear. And you are still hanged here, not believing that you can open your heart to love. You are not believing that there is somebody who will love you till the point that you can feel safe with them. You are not believing this and this card i believe is for you you want to shift your energy with this six of swords to accept what this individual offering you from love and passion believing that this is real but you are still afraid that if you will let go and open up you will, you will feel the pain again. Not everyone will be the same way like the people you used to know. There is, could be, there is good people in life like you. And one day, if you will level up your energy, you will meet them. And I believe with this hanged man here, you leveled up. You stayed here hanged thinking. And there is an enlightenment in your life but you're still not brave enough or confident enough to trust this transformation inside you. Release, my dear, and let the love enter your life because you deserve it. And if you feel like definitely anyone will stay for a while with you, then they will leave. This is not true. 
everyone entered your life in the past and left because they were not your person. They left because there is still another energy's need to enter your life so you can learn. Again, I'm always talking about the same story. Don't be fixed on the idea about forever because nobody knows what will happen tomorrow. You feel the love, you feel the passion. Release your energy and live today. Tomorrow is another day. Good luck, my dear. Nobody knows about tomorrow. I, I'm trying to stop thinking about tomorrow because simply maybe I don't have tomorrow. Who knows? Nobody. Don't waste today thinking about tomorrow. Pisces. You have a lot to say, Pisces. Let's see. The moon. The devil. The Eight of Cups. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. This devil is the chain between you and this energy. You are surrendering without hope to this and the other energy is trying to leave and it's not working. This devil is what you are making by your both hands. You are shifting the lover's energy to the devil energy by acting in this dark way. One of you is surrendering with pain, with no hope, not the positive surrendering. And the other energy is always trying to leave, 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 not understanding what is, what is this relationship or past life energy. Surrendering is the right thing to do, but you have to surrender positively, accepting what the divine will, what life will offer you. Not surrendering by being negative and just, do you see how this girl is going down in this water? She is not trying to survive. She's enjoying death. This is not surrendering. This is giving up. There is a big difference between surrendering and giving up. And the other energy is trying to fight this cup of love, wanting to go away from it. Time to clear your energy. Clear this. This devil should go. And you have to bring the lover's energy between you back in. By accepting the nature of this situation. Surrendering is by releasing this energy between you two, each one of you. I, I don't know which one is you, but you have to find the difference between not being attached to the outcome and leaving if this is you, leaving the situation doesn't mean that you have to pull 
this energy from your mind and heart by force. You cannot erase them from your life. You have to live surrendering to the idea that I will always remember them and I will always feel something to them, but I will keep going in my life. This is surrendering. If you are thinking that you can pull them away and throw them back in the garbage, like forgetting completely about them, you're wrong. You cannot. Surrendering is accepting the idea that I know maybe I cannot be with you right now, but I will accept that I will hold a special place for you in my heart and I will keep going in my life. This energy here is trying to erase this individual from their mind and heart. Because of that, the devil energy is in the middle. And this energy, if this is you, you are giving up like life completely. Surrendering means that I will keep going in my life as it is right now, believing that you will stay with me and I don't know what will happen tomorrow. I will stay optimistic. I will not give up till the point that I am not alive. If you think that you are healed, you are not. Heal, healing energy is a positive energy. If you are in pain and negative inside you, that means you are not healed at all. You have to surrender by accepting everything with happiness. This is the energy that needs clearing. This devil has to go. The lovers has to come here. This is your message for this reading. Pisces, stop fighting this soul connection. Scorpio. The Knight of Cups, the Fool, the Eight of Swords. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Somebody is coming to you with this roses, my dear, wanting something with you. Or maybe this is you. There is a new beginning or a beginning between you and someone, but there is somebody afraid. It's either this is a past life energy entering your life, or this is an ex coming to your life, or you are going back to their life. Pick your side. Whatever it is, even if this is not an ex, this is a new energy entering your life. There is a beautiful beginning between you and them. One of these people are afraid that they, will go, they are going to live the same way like before. Like if this is an ex, there is an energy about thinking, maybe, am I ready to do what I did before? This energy, if it's from the past, they are not forgetting what happened. And they are afraid that they are going to live the exact same story one more time. Because of that, they are not ready to open up or to accept this full energy. And if this is a new situation, somebody here is still holding the pain from the past. Excuse me. And they are afraid that everyone will enter their life, will give them the pain that they felt before. This new beginning is telling you the time has come to open up to life, to try again. Because if you will not try, you will not find what you are looking for or what you are waiting for. You cannot stay all the time afraid and alone.
Love is worth it. The feeling of love is worth it to take the risk of trying again. Because walking and fall is much better than sitting and not doing anything. Take the risk, my dear, if this is you. And if you are the page of the Knight of Cups, the other energy is afraid. They want, but they are still needing the push to try. So if you really like them, don't give up on them. Cancer. The sun, the hermit, the king of swords. Finance and career. Financial issues are a fact in your love life. Maybe this is what's stopping you from running towards the sun, my dear. With this hermit here, you're thinking and thinking and thinking, trying to find a way, but you feel yourself surrounded with darkness, not knowing what's the way out. The way out is the way in. Ask yourself about your dreams. Bring them back to life. Because if you will not have a hope, a light to follow, you will never find your way. This is the energy of somebody giving up, thinking that I have no hope. Well, there is a light here, if you see. The sun is waiting for you to come. Think deeper inside you. Bring the light out and find your way. Because you know that you can. But you are afraid to trying. You are afraid of trying, so try. You tried to play it safe, and it didn't bring you anything but pain and darkness. Take the risk. Play it differently. Maybe finding your stability financially, if you have a work like a project as a dream will give you the strength to do what you want to do. Stop playing safe. Because again, for the last time, and I will stop this, you played it safe for a very long time. It didn't bring you anything but pain and sadness. Take the risk. Maybe something positive will come. Nobody knows. You have to try to know. Good luck, my dear. The Orcade. This is our freestyle reading. I will start with three cards and one oracle. And if I need any, any more cards, I will take. Five of Swords, Judgment, the King of Cups. Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. This is a spiritual reading, my dear talking about your energy and the energy that you are connected with. I am not feeling this about the 3D. Somebody 
something happened in the past between you and your person. The one that you feel that they are your person. Not any ex or anyone from the past. There is a very deep and strong soul connection between you and this individual. They feel your energy. You feel their energy. This individual, this is a story about maybe a twin flame energy. Somebody treat this king of cups wrong in the past. They were, there was so many problems in this situation. Pushed this situation to end. And everyone went their own way. But the energy didn't stop. The flow of energy between these two individuals didn't stop. This Five of Swords is feeling the regret about what they did in the past. Maybe after the tower moment that happened between these two people, this individual realized what type of connection is this. They felt the love after the, after the right time, when it was too late. With this judgment in the middle, I believe this individual learned their lesson perfectly. And they're knowing that this is their person and they will never be happy without them. The Five of Swords right now in this individual energy, them believing for sure as a fact that this energy after what happened, there is no way they will let them back in. No way. So they are in the Five of Swords believing as a fact, as I'm telling you, as a fact that this is done and over and they will stay regretting losing this individual for the rest of their life. There is no hope in this situation. With this judgment in the middle, this individual understood or believe right now that after all that bad things that they did towards this King of Cups, there is no way this King of Cups will give them another chance. This King of Cups is still feeling this individual energy. And they are, they know that this individual is going through this. Now I will talk about the situation from both sides Pick your side and get your answer. If you are the King of Cups, this reading is telling you, send this individual healing energy if you want them. Let them feel that there is hope in this situation. Release some energy towards them. Let them feel that you're still attached to them. Want them. There is hope. They can Come back. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. This is for both of you. And if you are this Five of Swords, this reading is advising you to come out of your head, stop thinking, and start to feel the energy inside you because this individual is sending you healing energy. But you are not feeling it because you are trapped in your mind. If you will release this tension and this conflict from your head and you will start to connect with your soul, you will feel this individual energy and you will know that they are still sending you love and light. I believe this relationship is going to a beautiful place. Just pick your side and do what you have to do to make the impossible possible in this. 
Well, this is what I have for you, my dear. Thank you so much for being with me. I hope this was a helpful reading. Thanks again for all your love and your support. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.